book bag? Check. Notebook? Check. My lucky pencil. On. You're gonna be late. Okay, Mom. Just a sec. Gotcha. Oh! Oh, man! Ah! Here. Plastic? I can't use that. Plastic, like this pencil case, doesn't decompose back into nature like an apple, so its chemicals might stay in the soil and water forever. And ever! And ever! Yuck! Not on my watch. I'm the Plastic Blaster. And where I roam, conservation goes. Hmm. <gasps> Jeans! I could use those. I can make my own pencil holder. <laughs> to make your spiffy new roll-up pencil holder, you'll need fabric. Like from an old pair of pants. A ruler. A hot glue gun. A pen or a marker. And a pair of scissors. Let's go! Unfold the fabric at the crease and measure. Cut to make a large rectangle. Cut along the seam to open up the rectangle. And then, cut down one side to make a strand about an inch wide. Put that aside. You'll need that later. Form a pocket with the rectangle. At the crease, make marks about every half inch. Time for the glue gun! To avoid a sticky situation, grab an adult for help. Make a gooey line of glue over each mark. Fold the fabric over and let dry. Once dry, put your pencils in the slots. Roll. And tie the strand around the holder. Voila! Now you have a unique pencil case that's great for school and healthy for our planet. Pencil holder, check. Book, check. Honey, let's get going. Honey, your pants. <gasps> Join the Plastic Blaster and take the Kids vs. Plastic Pledge. Learn more at NatGeoKids.com slash plastic.